how to create a dot design in Photoshop 221, 219, 220, etc. Something like this, or maybe like this. This is a custom shape. You can use custom shapes, you can use triangles, circles, etc. with these dot options. Now I'm just going to quickly go over here and start with, I'm going to go with a custom shape. So custom shape tool there. Now this may be in a different position for you because of customization. I never can say where it is exactly. Go to shape, make certain you've got shape option over here. You can set a fill and stroke. And I'm going to be using maybe an arrow. Now, if you can't see these designs, these are legacy designs. What you need to do is go to Window and Shapes. You've got the Shapes panel there, and you go to right side and go for Legacy Shapes. That will bring all your legacy shapes back in the game. So now I'm going to go with, move that out of the way. And then I'm going to select one of the designs, maybe one of these objects. Um, that one. Just going to with that. So you've got this design. Now at this point, there's no dots at all. So fill, set, stroke. This is the key one. So you can set the stroke and I'm going to set the width so you can see it. What you can do then, just go over here to the this option. You've got a solid line here. You can see a solid line. See that there. Go there, click on that, and you'll see some presets. That's the easiest way. Just go to the preset. And the third one down is dots. So you can see this dot design. Now you can modify this in a number of ways. You can modify the align, so maybe go for that one, or maybe go for the outer. Also you can modify the caps, and so on and so on. Now some obviously are better than others, so I'm just going to go back to the preset there. But the one where I've created where I've got multiple dots there. Well, how to create that? Well, obviously you can create it in many ways. You could obviously just select that and just duplicate the design and decrease, obviously scale it down. But you can also, of course, create an action. So go to Window and Actions. That's probably the easiest way. With the Actions panel, and I'm just going to quickly show you this action. It's a very simple action, which you can record. You can find obviously many tutorials about actions on the Graphic Extra channel. So just simply duplicate the current layer, obviously this one, and then transform and basically scale it, say like 95% or 90%, 80%, whatever you want. And what I can then do, of course, once I've got the action, obviously I'm not going to go through that because it takes a little while of time just to create the action, but that's what you need to do if you want to do it quickly, you can create multiple copies very quickly using actions. So press the play and you can see I simply go like that. Keep pressing play all the way down and you can create a variety of different designs simply by using that. Now what you can do, of course, you can select all of the shapes. Now if I go to window and layers and find it in a sec. Layers, window, and layers. Yeah. Always tucked away somewhere. You've got all the layers selected there. You can see it all the way. You can see nice little animation there. Now, what you can do with that selected, you can go to the custom shape tool. Now, sadly, properties doesn't allow you to modify all these in one go. That's the properties panel. But if you go to the custom shape tool, just like that, you can go along, along the top here. You've got all the options still available. So you can modify the stroke so you can change the color. So maybe you want to go for green. I'm going to go with black or maybe go with white. Perfectly reasonable. And you can also modify stroke width. And that's for all of them. So if you make too small, you can't see it. 7.41. And you can see the design there. So you can create all kinds of lovely dot designs. You can also modify it further. By going for click there you've got the preset as before and there's also more options so more options and what you can do you can change the dash line so you've got naught there you can say 0.4 so you can modify that or maybe make it still naught and then 
1.3 or 1.5. So you can just modify these over and over again in different ways. So 1.5, maybe 2.4, and you can see you can get a different dot design. Again, you can go here, say naught again, and then maybe 1.2. You can see more designs. Obviously, there's only, there's only three options here. So uh, just going to go with, say, naught again and 2.2. Click OK. And then you've got your dotted design there. And again, you, of course, can go and vary it at any point. Once you've done this, of course, what you can do, you can always go to Layer, and you can group the layers. But I always generally go to Smart Objects and convert to a Smart Object. So it becomes a single object, which you can, of course, go over here to the Layers, and you can always edit at any point. Simply double-click the thumbnail there and go in and modify things. And you can modify the individual layers. So you can always select that layer, maybe a couple of layers, and then change the settings again. Go to the Custom Shape tool and just change the setting for that one. You don't have to change all of them to the same value. So I'm just going to go back to maybe a circle. Probably easier to see it, actually, as a circle. So there's a circle. You can see the design exactly the same. I've duplicated the path, then sized it down 95%, 95%, 95%, 95%. And then again, go over. Now this one, you can change via the properties, which is really odd. So you go to their Ellipse tool, and you can go to Window and Properties. And you can see there, you have got the option to change it there. Custom Shapes, for some weird reason, that is not available. But it's exactly the same. And again, you can go here, and you can say, instead of two, go for 1.3. So you can see, you can create different designs that way. And of course, what you can also do is you don't have to keep the design like that. You can go to each of these different items there, to the shapes, I should say, and go maybe just change them. Say like 12, you can modify the angle, select a different one, go there and change it to 24. And you can see you can make some variations in this if you want sort of maybe more randomness to the design. But it's a great way of adding some dots very quickly to all kinds of custom shapes, maybe like squares, circles, or triangles, as well as obviously your own different shapes you've created, maybe ones you've created using the pen tool, curvature tool, etc. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Please subscribe to the Graphic Extras channel, always adding new tutorials about Photoshop, Illustrator, all the other parts of Creative Cloud, Affinity Photo, Painter, and many others. Also, any questions, any comments, always happy to answer things. If you've obviously got some questions about what I did right, what I did wrong. Also, a dislike or a like. Thank you much.